if you're one of those operations that's growing some replacement heifers that you're going to breed next spring, then I would suggest that as you're working with uh, your feed manufacturer, that you have them include one of the feed ingredients called ionophores to feed to those growing replacement heifers. Ionophores are those things that uh, we can put into the diet of a yearling replacement heifer and have some, some real impacts. Basically, they're sold as uh, either monensin under the trade name rumensin or lasalicid sold under the trade name of Bovitec. And, and both of them have three real advantages that I would consider for any good replacement heifer growing program. Number one, the heifers will grow just a little bit better have a little better feed efficiency if they have one of the ionophores in, included in the diet. Number two, research has shown us that heifers that have been on, on an ionophore will reach puberty on the average about two weeks sooner than their counterparts that are getting exactly the same diet without one of the ionophores. And that just means that there'd be a higher percentage of the heifers cycling at the start of the upcoming breeding season for those heifers, and that should mean just a little better breed up uh, of our replacement heifer crop. The third reason is that ionophores are pretty good at helping prevent the disease coccidiosis. One of those things that often occurs when they, in the wet uh, winter and spring months in young cattle and can be pretty devastating. And they're pretty good about helping prevent that particular disease. Also, if you're one of those that's going to grow replacement heifers out on wheat pasture this year, then I would consider using one of the mineral blocks or mineral supplements that contains the ionophore monensin, a trade name rumensin. Research out at our Oklahoma wheat pasture research station through the years has shown us that the presence of monensin in the diet will reduce the incidence and the severity of bloat in cattle that are uh, in that situation probably next spring when bloat is most likely to occur. So if we're going some replacement heifers this fall and this winter, and we're putting together a feed for those replacement heifers, I would really visit with my feed manufacturer about including one of the ionophores at the recommended label rate. I think that you'll find that the results are certainly worth the little extra expense that's involved with including one of those feed ingredients. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.